Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. I have published a couple of videos regarding DD Windows System to a free Oracle VPS instance. As you can see from the screen, I have Windows 2022, 2012, 2016, Windows 7. There are some questions coming from my audience asking which version is least resource consumption. I personally like Windows 7 and Windows 2016. If you want to know the least one is Windows 2003, 2008 will be least operating system to use the memory and CPU, but they are outdated. So Windows 7, Windows 2016, both are still good in our environment if you want to use them. Again, there's a risk Oracle may ban your account because you're violating their terms of service. But the risk is low. If you would like to take the risk, you can continue use this method to change your Oracle free tier virtual machine, which only has one gig RAM, one virtual CPU to the Windows operating system. The command is so valid, only thing you need to change is the image source. The original post regarding NAT.EE, that website hosting those image source is not valid anymore, but I did find some other sites which can provide in similar image source as well. So you can find out those image source from my blog post, DD Windows OS to Cloud Linux. Again, only thing you need to change is the image source from this command. Just one command from your Ubuntu system, then you can switch it to the Windows operating system. Just for your information, for the Oracle Cloud Platform, you do need to find out the operating system which has EFI in the title because Oracle Cloud only support EFI booting mode. So other image file may be good for Google Cloud, Azure, or AWS, or others. But for Oracle, you need an EFI type image source. They also have different language as well. CN is for Chinese. So if you don't know the Chinese, then US version is best for you. Same thing you can find from other network disks I listing in my blog post. So find the right one if you want to use and uh, put the command into your Ubuntu VM. Then in 30, 40 minutes, you will get the new Windows operating system VM in the cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you Windows 2019 process. Let's start it. Wow. 